Oh my god, I am so excited. I am at Chantry Flats, which is a place that I have been wanting to go to. Oh my gosh, it is gorgeous here. Look at this. So I'm gonna go to Sturgis Falls today. Sturivin Falls, I guess it's called Sturivin Falls, um, because it's the closest. And then that way um, I can get to the water fast. Yay! Since when I broke my ankle, I chose a place. I was like, okay, the first place I'm gonna go and hike and run again on a trail is Chantry Flats. And I chose it, I was looking at the forest maps, of the Los Angeles forest maps. They have apps that you can look at. And then I also went to the ranger station and got maps and everything. And so my goal was Chantry Flats. And then um, uh, I got busy and I started running again, but it couldn't run trails right away. So oh. then I was diagnosed with cancer. And so uh, now I'm like, you know what, I better, do that chantry flat before <laughs> who knows what could happen to me but um i'm like you know what i'm gonna go and do chantry flats i'm gonna do a run hike today and my base will be the car i guess and i did it i'm here i made it to chantry flats which is was my goal my first goal <laughs> after my broken ankle and uh, and i worked a bunch this morning and i was like <sighs> i get to a point sometimes where i just get like so <sighs> Like, um, okay, I've been working enough and I just get like this need, this like desire to get outside. And so I was like, you know what? I'm, I woke up thinking about Chantry Flats. I might as well just go there now that I've worked a few hours and dealt with a bunch of arts ed stuff and checked my email and all that stuff, and made phone calls. I am now gonna go and take a break and I'm gonna drive to Chantry Flats and just check it out. So here I am, finally. And it's gorgeous. The drive up here is gorgeous. It actually reminds me of east coast with the rocked walls along the edge of the road and the trees everywhere. Yeah, so <laughs> I'm running these falls, Cantry Falls. This I chose a different trail actually because the water's closer and I need to get my head wet. Luckily part of, it, partial part of it is in the shade so that's good as I run. But it's pretty a beautiful trail all downhill we have to walk up um well, my head will be wet so that'll be good i did not bring water with me to carry because the falls is actually only a mile like 1.2 so by the time i get there and get my head wet it should be fine and it'll be wet the rest of the way up the new, the new trail always fun to explore find a new place that's like my favorite part hermit fall that's where i'm going see i'm trying to stay clear of any type of poison ivy or yeah. Cool. Oh, it's really fun. I hear the water. Oh my god! I'm gonna do a video of me in the water. How that sound? I won't. I won't go. I won't get naked. Because maybe maybe my sports bra. It's very exciting. Not that. But I'm in the water. Look, I can see it down there. Oh my goodness. In fact, there's so many waterfalls here. It's exciting. My dream come true. Oh my gosh. Look at this. I'm so getting in this right now. Okay, I dunked my head. I went off that hill and apparently 15 minutes that way there's like a, uh, an, a deeper fall that you can jump into so I'll have to come back for that. Okay here I am getting in. It's gonna be cold probably. Oh my god it's so cold. You know. I just dumped my entire head. Wow. It's nice and cool now. Oh, it's like that oil for me in there. Look how pretty this is. Just fit right in. Chemo port and all. <laughs> so my hair stayed in with the little swim I did. <laughs> I just needed to get it wet. So 
It's really pretty here. I had to come back when I can spend more time. But this was the perfect getaway. I've been kind of, I don't know, just been really kind of up and down lately, sad. Martha says that that's normal and that um, just know that it's a treatment, it's not you. But it's kind of hard when you're going through it. So all of a sudden you're just really upset about something and you have like a meltdown. It just sucks. It sucks ass, really. I'm trying to find good lighting. I, I look like I have bags under my eyes and I don't. I don't know, maybe that way. Uh, um, but it's been kind of hard lately, so emotionally it's been hard. So I just wanted to come out in a way, kind of chill. I did. <laughs> so, God, it's gorgeous. It's my long leg. Woo! All in the water. Splash away. Take that. I get uh, a lot of times you get um, it's stereotyping you can't like I'm tall so my long legs they're sexy but being tall is not always the greatest thing a lot of shorter people get rolls and stuff but you know what those people um they get shorter, and they're short, you know, but the spinners, because they, a lot of guys are short in Hollywood. But, um, me, I used to want to be tiny as a kid, you know, the teacher's pets were always small. And, um, but now as an adult, I'm glad I'm tall, because I've got these six and six that I can float around with. And people that don't choose to be tall people, well, casting people, they're missing out, because we are creatures of long-legged gorgeousness. <laughs> Woo! Look at that tall body. Oh, I think something just snapped at my foot. So, I think this was just what I needed. Oh, it's gorgeous out. And then myself. New greenery. There's water next to me. Look at that. Falls. I to swim. My hair is now wet, so it won't fall out. Look at this place. Yeah, I'm surrounded by trees. Wow. And there are my sexy long legs. <laughs> Perfect balls, I think it is, yeah. But I'm gonna go swim out. actually my first swim since the um, since chemo because I'm not really supposed to swim my hair can fall out and it's only about a mile 1.2 miles this trail and then um, I was like okay I'll put water in my hair and then I'm gonna cool off and then I had my shirt I'm gonna drench it in water so that on the way back up I can constantly douse my hair with water it's really pretty here I wish you could stay all day Chilly, like the water's that cold.
love that you're able to kind of come along with me on my hike today. When I was little, I was a tomboy, and my brothers and I would always go into the woods by my parents' house. We had like four and a half acres, and we'd go in the back and we'd make forts. And we'd um, play in the river and follow the river. And we were explorers, we'd pretend we were explorers. And we'd just explore with our dog Biscuit at our side. Usually our neighbors were there, Nathan and Josh. Um, sometimes Debbie and Chrissy and Beth, they were there too. And uh, we would just explore the woods all day. It was usually the weekends, obviously, because we had school during the week. But um, Saturday was lots of cartoon day. That's what we called it in my family. And my mom at noon would say, get outside, TV's turning off. Oh, I've watered my eyes. Go outside and play. And we were outside all day long, being explorers of the forest. Yeah, that must be where I get it from. That must be why I love exploring the forest as an adult, going out into nature and just, it's quiet. You can think, you've got all that noise around. Or you could just be, look at that. You just take a moment and look, the beauty of it all. I get to see them and explore them. Heather the Explorer. See, so I brought my little avocado sandwich. See, I have a little snack. My bag, which is from my sister-in-law. I'm icing my head. This is from my sister-in-law to uh, pack snacks for chemo. And um, my sister-in-law, Erin. And I'm icing my head while I sit here. My hair dried pretty quickly on that hike up. So now I'm curious to know, I hope my hair won't fall out from swimming a little bit. So I'm gonna eat this with you. I'm gonna unwrap it. I can not know if I can avocado and kale and onion and spinach, all the stuff that you need as a cancer patient to get strong through chemo. Boo boo boo! God. When you're saying boo doo doo a major eye roll that I have to do any of this. Mm. Mm -mm. I was just thinking how I really didn't wash my hands after I swam in that water. They're probably like amoebas on it. I don't know, whatever. Taxol will kill it all. For those of you who keep being obsessed with what I'm eating, there's also hummus on here. So there's hummus, avocado, onion. I have one with kale and one with spinach. Right here. And my posture is getting very good balancing ice packs on my head. <laughs> mm. Wow. Oh, it's French bread. Yummy. And pack napkins actually. That's the one thing I pack. But I have my shirt here. I wipe my face on if I want. Mmm, so good. And I have Ultima too. And I packed an ice cream sandwich, which I left on top of my ice pack. <laughs> and um, it stayed cold. <laughs> kind of weird just having my video on, but. I look like Tarzan, kind of like. Mm -hmm. So, these are like a special treat. I had these one other time, and we found out they were vegan. We were like, oh my gosh, they're bacon habanero chips that you can buy at Whole Foods. Oh, they're so good. They're like amazing. But, um, yeah, they're not like 
I don't think there's any nutritional value in them, so we don't really ever buy them. And I was like, ooh, we were at Whole Foods last night buying iron pills to keep my hemoglobin up. And um, I was like, yes, let's get these. There's not that. And my hemoglobin's actually doing well. My doctor was like, what are you doing? I want to know what you're doing to keep your hemoglobin up. Because it went down last week. It's actually back up. Hi. So, I was like eating spinach, because I was <laughs> eating spinach. That's really it. And then I went and bought iron pills. Oh my gosh. My Tarzan shirt's falling off. It's keeping me cool. All right, one last look around. I kind of really don't want to go. <laughs> I'm going to go back to life. Can't be flat. But all good things must come to an end. Isn't that what they say? So, adios. Chantry flat. Till another day. Chantry flats. Bye. <laughs> I'll be back very soon. Bye. Get my way. <laughs>